Welcome to Build the Weight Loss Practice of Your Dreams. If you have questions about how to build your weight loss business, Carol Clark has answers. Join her each week as she and her expert guests share actionable steps to better outcomes for your clients and more revenue and referrals for you. It's time to experience your ultimate success and enjoy what you do each and every day. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Build the Weight Loss Practice of Your Dreams. Thanks so much for listening in on this first episode. My name is Carol Clark, and I'm your host. And what I'll be doing every week is sharing with you some very practical and uh, insightful tips for how to build a weight loss practice that you thoroughly enjoy, that brings your patients or your clients, however you may refer to them, better outcomes, brings you more revenue, and also uh, more referrals from people who you want to work with and those that will become raving fans of yours. So I wanted to explain a little bit about the purpose of this podcast. Really, it's intended to be very hands-on, very informational, very um, applicable to what you're trying to work on. So it's tips that will be you can implement immediately into your practice or your business. It's designed for physicians who see overweight clients every single day and want to be able to help them and also add a form of additional revenue into their practice. This can be also be applied to chiropractors, personal trainers, and entire health systems. And why do you think I might be somebody who could bring this information to you? It's because I'm a past hospital administrator, a practice administrator, an entrepreneur who has built surgical and non-surgical weight loss practices from the ground up, primarily with my husband, Dr. Thomas W. Clark. He's um, a renowned bariatric surgeon and also bariatrician and very dedicated. And I've helped him and I've helped many other physicians do the same. And I want to help you build a practice that you thoroughly enjoy. What I'm tired of is seeing a lot of uh, business owners or physicians who are out there really not enjoying what it is that they're doing and being very frustrated by today's society and uh, where healthcare is. So I'd like to help you break out of that typical mold and really enjoy your practice again, enjoy your patients, build revenue, and um, also, like I say, create raving fans who refer other people to see you. And like I say, whether you're a physician, chiropractor, personal trainer, entire health system, gym, whatever, we have some tools that are gonna be great. And I just wanna take this time to provide you with free advice and actionable items that you can, like I say, implement immediately to see results. So my background, I'm a nurse and uh, I'm a past administrator, as I mentioned, and I really got into marketing because uh, my husband, Tom, and I became very frustrated. We would pay professionals for a lot of advice and results that really we couldn't measure. We really didn't have a good return on investment. And so we ended up doing a lot of things ourselves. And we were also very ahead of our time in terms of what it was that we were providing. And so we'd see things that we were doing become trends. And then later people were trying to do the same thing. So uh, people tried to copy some of what we were doing, not that we're that fabulous or anything like that, but they were just trying to do what we were doing because they saw that it was really helping our clients and we were thoroughly enjoying ourselves. So I'd like to help other people do the very same. So uh, if that's something that sounds desirable to you, listen on. And like I said, we'll keep this to the point and keep it very actionable for you. And if you have any other information that you wanted to gather, our website is weightlosspracticebuilder.com. And for this first episode, I really wanted to share with you sort of a bigger picture, um, what I call sort of the seven steps to building an ideal weight loss business or weight loss practice that you thoroughly enjoy. Uh, and first of all, I think the most important thing is you really have to have a passion um, for helping others, specifically helping others lose weight and improve their health. This is something that if you're going to be doing a lot of it, you need to enjoy what you're doing, no matter what you do in life. It's got to be something that you enjoy. So it certainly helps if you have a passion for helping others, like I say, lose weight and improve their health. It makes everything that much more enjoyable. The second thing is really to practice what you preach. Uh, I know at, at um, our practice, we not only us, but all of our employees, we tend to live what it is that we teach others because we try to make it fun. We try to make weight loss not a drudgery, and that's really important. So as a practitioner or a healthcare professional, uh, it's important for you to follow and practice what it is that you're preaching to others, um, and that will help you enjoy that journey uh, that much more. The third thing that I find is you have to surround yourself with awesome, great 
people. Like I say, we were paying for sometimes mediocrity with the exception of a couple of, of people that we utilized. And what I found was we would do things better ourselves when we had people who had a like vision that we uh, had shared with them. So surrounding yourself with people who are awesome. That's not only your employees, um, and we'll talk a little bit as we get onto future podcasts about how to nurture your employees and how to select your employees, that sort of thing. In addition to a lot of the how to build a retail store, how to, um, how to a lot of the business side of your of your practice or your your business, um, but specifically you want to surround yourself with people who understand your vision, uh, may sh- and hopefully share your passion. And this is from your employees to your accountant to the attorney that you use for your real estate transactions for wherever your business is located or or if you're renting and whoever's doing your contracts and that sort of thing your attorneys it also relates to those that you're partnering with for marketing and even down to the resources that you're using for for marketing and building every single aspect of your business you need to make sure that you surround yourself with an awesome wonderful team it's one of those things that they end up representing you. So the more involved you are in selecting those people and knowing that they share your vision, uh, that's going to be extremely important to a successful practice or business. Because as soon as somebody walks through your door, they see that and they get that vibe right from the get-go. So you've got to surround yourself with wonderful people. The fourth thing that is leads to an ideal um, and successful business is building systems. And that's one of the things that I'm... I'm sort of a little obsessive about, but having systems in place, not to take out the interpersonal or that personal touch, but really to make sure that you know that your clients or, or your patients are all getting a consistent high level of concierge service so that you know that they, no matter whether you're there or whether you're not there, the systems are in place for people to have an awesome, outstanding experience and experience um, the success that they want and the, the results that they desire and the results that they deserve uh, when they come to you as someone to help guide them through their journey. So building systems, whether it's from your marketing systems to your intake systems, to your phone systems, to your counseling systems, to your medical record systems, to your accounting systems, all those need to be put into place and be very well documented and implemented so people as new employees may come on or you grow your team that they know exactly what they need to be doing when and they can do it. Uh, if you take out that guesswork of like, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing, people can then have their inner selves come out and really, really rise to the occasion and and be really the best that they can be. And that just reflects positively on your business. So building systems is really important. We'll talk a lot in our podcast about how to do that. Uh, the next thing is to be intentional. And you may think, well, that's kind of an odd thing to recommend, but I'm saying be intentional about everything it, it is that you do whether it's from your business plan down down to your marketing plan, all the systems for your business that you're developing that I just talked about, you have to be intentional and make sure that it's not something that you're just throwing spaghetti at the wall and seeing if it will stick. Or you're not just, hmm, there is a certain amount of trial and error. Certainly, I totally understand that and I do plenty of that myself or split testing when you're doing marketing. But um, the fact of the matter is that you need to be intentional in whatever whatever it is that you're doing. Uh, So I think that's really, really important. The other thing is to learn from your successes, what worked really well, do more of that, and also learn from your failures. Don't beat yourself up. You've got to try different things and you're going to fail sometimes and it's going to feel, it's not going to feel good. But the fact of the matter is you have to get out there, you have to try it. And the other thing is to partner with um, people that have seen success so that you can then also experience that and maybe avoid some of the uh, the pitfalls that you may see. But I say, you know, celebrate your successes and also just learn from any um, problems that you have or any failures that you may have. I always call them areas for improvement versus failures, but you want to learn from those moving forward after that. And the last thing that I say, or the seventh item that, like I say, all these are sort of broad, but we'll be getting into them more as the podcast evolves every single week. Um, But the other thing is to be unique and be yourself and have fun and follow your dreams. So many people think that you need to be worried, you know, you need to follow a cookie cutter um, process or you need to be doing whatever the rest of the industry is doing. The fact of the matter is when your uniqueness comes out and you share with people your personality, it just shines and it makes them know, like, and trust you more. And it makes them want to come back for more, especially when you're transparent, such as with this podcast, I'm going to be very transparent. I'm going to be bringing some guests on here that are thought leaders that have very successful practices 
Um, and it's not just what their their thoughts are, but it's really what is the nitty gritty of make, that's making them successful. That's what I want to provide for you. So as we go through, um, I want to make sure that I am exceeding your expectations. Uh, but no matter who I bring on the show, whether it's a, a healthcare practitioner, a administrator for a health system, a successful patient who's sharing with you what it is that they want out of a business when they're seeking weight loss services, what is it that helps contribute to their success the most. No matter who I'm bringing on here, I'm going to bring out the best in all those interviews and bring out the best information so that you can then experience the best success. So that's it for the first podcast. I hope this was helpful. I hope that you take those um, seven ideal the steps to building an ideal practice and think about them a little bit more and get ready for some uh, nitty gritty details and how to do that in some future podcasts. If you have questions, you can always reach out to me at uh, weightlosspracticebuilder.com or it's carol, K-A-R-O-L, at weightlosspracticebuilder.com and look forward to uh, talking with you further and getting, don't be afraid to send me some uh, messages about what it is that you may want to hear more of, some specific things that you may need some help with in your business and we'll do our best to address that. So without further ado, I'm going to end this podcast and I certainly appreciate your time. I know it's very valuable and I look forward to talking with you next week. Thanks very much. Uh, and also subscribe if you can to subscribe to the channel. That way you don't have to wait till next week. You can listen to all the episodes whenever you want, whether you're out running, walking uh, or, or whatever you're doing or just at your desk and uh, taking some time to, to, to focus on some personal and professional growth and also business growth. So until the next time, thanks so much for listening. Have a great day. That's all for this episode of Build the Weight Loss Practice of Your Dreams. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and visit weightlosspracticebuilder.com to stay up to date on more ways to build a successful practice that you love with results, revenue, and referrals. We look forward to having you join us next time.